positive when the negative news Nish, came in. I'll have to come to you again because we just have Sunil Duggal, the CEO of Dabur, joining us uh, to talk about the earnings. A good quarter, Mr. Duggal, pat in line with estimates, sales above estimates. And while you could have probably bargained for maybe lesser advertisement spends, but just put the quarter into perspective. The volume growth that you've shown this quarter, you think that is something that is sustainable over the next couple of quarters because a couple of people or a couple of companies have put question marks on that front. I think there is a bit of a question mark. We've shown a volume growth of around uh, close to 12% for the domestic consumer business. And I think it's impossible to predict whether this trajectory can continue. Uh, what we do uh, envisage is that if the monsoon is uh, revived and is a normal monsoon, then we can maintain a double digit growth in terms of volumes. But in the event of a failure of monsoons, it's likely to drop down back into the high single digits. But even in, I think uh, the most uh, pessimistic scenario does not envision uh, a very low volume growth. I think, I think even in the worst case, we should be able to see a high single digit volume growth. But it may not be as good as what we have seen in the first quarter. Right. What about the uh, margin picture, uh, Mr. Duggal? Because the expectation is that going forward, cost pressures as well as you know, a slowdown in volume growth would uh, contract margins. We've seen a bit of that already in this quarter. You think you can go to sub 14% uh, uh, in the coming quarters? What would be the tra trajectory there? Yeah, I think the EBIT uh, margins should be uh, improving perhaps uh, because uh, what we have done in this quarter as you would have seen is we have significantly increased spends uh, in advertising and promotion by close to you know, 40 odd percent and we may uh, choose to slow down this spend uh, going forward in case there is uh, a high uh, inflation in terms of raw materials but that's something which uh, will play out over the next couple of quarters as we see it today the margin profile looks good and we can continue to invest significantly behind our brands because the gross margin profile is improving. But uh, like I said, this could change uh, perhaps in the third quarter. Let's hope for the best. Yes, indeed. So would that be a conscious strategy? We'll come back to the volume picture. But since we are on the topic of margins, Mr. Duggal, just in case there is uh, an mm -hmm. uptick in the commodity or the raw material prices, would that be a strategy of consciously cutting down the other spends? And do you have the luxury to do that essentially is my question. I think we have the luxury of doing that because the spends today are at an all-time high, so we can cut back a little without significantly impacting growth. Uh, we are reasonably committed to a high trajectory of spends for the current year, but that was in an environment where we saw inflation uh, coming down quite a bit and uh, raw material prices cooling off. Uh, what we did not envision was uh, you know, a, a monsoon effect which could push it the other way around. So we'll play it by the year. I think there's enough flexibility in our business model to accommodate both uh, uh, high inflation as well as uh, low inflation. And we do have a little bit of flexibility in how we uh, deploy our advertising spends. So I think uh, we should be able to maintain a robust EBIT profile even in the worst case scenario because of this situation. Could you help us with in indicative numbers on that? Uh, firstly, because you said that quarter three, uh, you know, the numbers would look a bit different and you're hoping that they would. So, uh, you know, what is the expectation mm -hmm. on how much you would do on the margin front by quarter three? And also, uh, as a percentage of sales, how much do you think uh, uh, advertising costs would reduce? Well, uh, we, um, uh, in the first quarter, we are at an EBIT profile of around 16.5%. But then first quarter is always a low EBIT quarter because of seasonality. The margins creep up in the second and peak in the third. So uh, for the full year, we would look at uh, EBIT uh, delivery of around 18 odd percent. Now, having said that, there's no, no guarantee that will happen. But uh, uh, I think uh, it's something which we still would shoot for, despite a, a, a reasonably adverse economic environment fueled by inflation. Mr. Dugal, give us some color now. You, you spoke about how uh, it's difficult to predict how volumes would shape up. But how is the inherent demand, particularly in the rural markets? Because there, there have been completely mixed trends where certain companies have spoken about significantly high alarm bells and certain mm. companies have been saying that, hey, all is okay and we are not seeing uh, such an impact in the rural market as we have probably seen in certain urban pockets. Mm. I think uh, the recent numbers uh, thrown up by, uh, by, by the research companies do indicate a slowdown in rural demand. Uh, we've been able to mitigate that because of our own uh, heightened level of infrastructure which we built over the last year. So I think we are gaining a little bit of a share from other companies in the rural space and our rural uh, demand remains uh, pretty strong. 
Now, this could evaporate a little bit, not on account of any other thing, but on account of uh, demand destruction because of lower monsoons. But as of now, the rural scene does look good, even though the aggregate rural demand does seem to be cooling off. All right, Mr. Dugul, we leave it at that. Thanks very much for joining us uh, and giving us your uh, snapshot and summary of the quarterly performance. And congratulations on a good set of numbers. Uh, that's double for you. They are looking at uh, margin expansion going into the next few quarters as they look to trim down their advertising costs, even if there are cost pressures coming in from the raw material side. 118, the stock is uh, just quarter of a percent down in the red. We'll take a short break uh, on that now when we come back.